Right, Merry Christmas to you, Mark. Merry Christmas, mate. How's Panto going? Very well, very busy. Yeah, Lucky good, I think yeah. so, yeah. Covid has really helped out. <laughs> I've, it's only five dwarves this year, isn't it? Yeah. You've had a few written off. They've, yeah, they've gone, they've gone. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's, on a serious note, <coughs> Boxing Day fixture against the Havre and Waterlooville side. That bit like us at the moment, not, not punching it the right way at the moment, do you feel? Um, I, listen, I think I'll take my hat off to them because they just... They really want to win, don't they? As a club, they, they're like us. They just put everything against winning. Um, got a great squad. Um, you know, this league this year, it's, you know, it's going to take a while, even now, before it starts to sort of even itself out. A lot of teams started the season on a lot of enthusiasm off the back of having not played. Some of them a lot of money off the back of, you know, the funding they received last year when they didn't want to play. Um, so it, it's it's been a real level of this season for a lot of teams and also haven't like us they've had um, a share of uh, injury problems too so we see the team sheet great team um, great great names out there I think it's gonna be a really good game guys to be fair mate and when we came into this league three seasons ago we obviously we've not kicked uh, not finished it yet we wanted to play games like this on a boxing day you know, where you're going to get you know best part of 2000 and you wanted to get big crowds in on a boxing day that's what it was all about so you have to look at the bigger picture um but our boys are in good form and having no doubt like all teams do will give us all the respect we deserve and it's going to be a good game going back to last saturday uh great i thought it was a good performance against south end lucky i was thought we were unlucky not to come away with a win uh and at least a draw so what have you done this week how have the players been this week for you yeah, they've trained brilliantly, mate. They're, they're, they're definitely a forming group. Do you know what I mean? They're not, I don't think they're not at the point where they're going to storm yet, you know, and, and they're not going to go and put together five, six, seven wins. They're not. Um, but we're definitely forming. And that doesn't just include the performances, but also, you know, the likes of Fogden and, and Phil Pot, you know, that are bubbling under the surface, getting themselves fit again. So um, I think the, the attitude's great. Um, <coughs> togetherness is normally good anyway but um yeah mate it's um I've, I've, i think it's exciting really for us at the moment to be honest mate and they've shown a lot of character since that chippenham disaster um won the last two games scored some great goals negative today i never like it if neither of more or mcshane are not playing i always like one of them to be playing because they're sort of wondrous boys that have been here five years know how we play and I never like it. They're both not playing, but they're you know Morrow's on the bench and um, his knee's not the best, and Luke Shane's done his hamstring. But um, equally, there's other boys that are becoming more and more wondrous type players, like Josh Taylor in a good spell. So um, Ricky Wheeler back in doing really well. Jason chomping a bit. He's, you know, he's going to score soon, isn't he? Let's face it. Oh yeah. He's going to get a goal soon, and he's, that's what's going to happen. So what is the team new today? I, mean, I haven't seen the team to be honest. Um, Minimal changes really from the team that beat Oxford. Um, minimal changes. I'm just trying to think if there's even one. Um, Chibi's <coughs> playing left back. Chibi's at left back. Did you um, ever thought about putting him in centre half? Not really. I think that's how we play. Teams, you know, teams prepare that way. Um, we might have to accept we can see the few goals. Uh, listen, if we give, if we're cheap on the ball today, um, and we're not up for the game, then we're going to get punished. But that's how we play, guys, really. Um, not going to play a back four at home, I don't think. No, but you in the middle as a three, centre-half as a three. Yeah, that's where we'd be, yeah. Um, and he's had a great game down at Oxford. Distribution's brilliant, very unflustered. Very unflustered player. But I think, listen, I think that this is going to be a great game. They've got some great, great players, haven't. And um, I think there'll be a lot of neutrals here today. Due to the amount of games called off, they're going to get a good one. They're going to get a really good one. Talk about games being called off. Obviously, our game against Dulwich is called off. Do you think that's that's helped us really, rather than yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, we wanted to play. Of course, you, you, you want to play all your games do. over Christmas, don't you? you? Look forward to it. But in reality, it's a bit, you know more time to to get boys back, and you know we'll have a big spell of run of games coming up and stuff like that. So, um, and the boys can train during the week now, can't they? Yeah, they're training. It's, it's uh, the way Christmas is falling at the moment. Obviously, it's. Yeah, it makes it an ordinary week, do you yes. know what I mean? So uh, that's great as well. I, I just think we've had some <coughs> we've had some great games down here in the last three years. I look back at the against some of the top sides having Wildstone when they won the league and 
they were proper sparring matches. We don't hold anything back as a team. The boys move it all out there in front of their fans, and I think it's going to be a great game. As long as I hope the ref, as always, is consistent. Yeah, we've had him twice Not this a bad year. Ref, this, is, this is the third time we've had him. Yeah, it is. Which I must have a shortage of referees. We've only played, <laughs> you know, 20 games. But anyway, um, but no, so listen, it's going to be really, really packed. I hope both sets of supporters. Um, enjoy it because obviously this time last year they weren't enjoying shit. They weren't, weren't allowed anywhere. Um, <coughs> from our point of view, this won't define our season. No. You know the boys out there now: Red Davis, Samuel Lab, Rose Fogg, and Isaac Philpot. You know there's boys. You know we need to get ourselves back to where we think our factory settings are as a club. And uh, at the moment we're just we're playing on an upward momentum, but nothing more than that really. As a manager. We haven't. We played these slots three times, or we haven't beaten them yet. As a manager, does that bother you going into a game like this, or do you? I don't know. I know you don't mind not mention it, but does that have anything in your head about it? Yeah, definitely. I think it'd be lying if not. I think I'm definitely aware we've not beaten, haven't. Um, and um, it's the same as when we've got we've got other teams the other way round. Yes, sir. Yeah. And sometimes I'll say to the management team, do you know what? You know, Maidstone, as an example, said this is a club that never does well against us. It's it's a bloody it sounds ridiculous, I know, but <coughs> it does stand for something. Um, and um, equally, though, you know, obviously you're going to beat them at some point. Yeah, you, know, you know, so. But I think it's worthy of note because they've got the same management team, so there, there'll be certain things they look to do um, that they believe have worked for them previously. Yeah. I just think we're just going to, I, I genuinely think this is going to be a toe-to-toe -to -toe game. I hope the referee is really sensible, keeps them all on the pitch, um, you know, and I hope the fans enjoy it. You know what I mean? That's the bottom line, mate. It's a Christmas fixture. Sure. Well, good luck today, Cheers, mate. Cheers, I hope it goes well, and I'll chat with you after. Cheers, mate. All the best.